ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And sometimes people have to watch what they wish for. They just might get it. That's the case with the Democrat Party, Joe Biden, Jack Smith, and a lot of people who are after former President Donald Trump right now. Before we get started, I want to ask you to give us a great Christmas present this year. And remember to like, follow, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out helps our channel continue to grow and spread the conservative message. So former Speaker of the House, Republican Newt Gingrich, was speaking to Laura Ingram on Fox News when he talked about the dire consequences that could come from the Colorado decision of the Colorado Supreme Court to bar Trump from the 2024 Republican primary ballot, which we can only assume would then carry over into the general election ballot if they're not stopped, based on the reasoning they gave for why they kept him off the 14th Amendment, uh, sorry, the 14th Amendment, which is why they kept him off the ballot. Now, Gingrich explained exactly why this is a huge danger, not just for Trump, not just for 2024, but for our nation in general and the survival of our nation in general. So I'm going to leave you with the clip. I want to tell you that I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Now let's watch Newt Gingrich. Now, at this point, given what we're seeing in the courts, at the DOJ, and even in state AG offices, and given Democrats, Trump is Hitler rhetoric, is it not logical, at least to consider, maybe even to assume, that some on the left are hoping to spark some type of civil unrest here, which would be followed, of course, by a mass crackdown on civil liberties? or the declaration of maybe a nationwide emergency, all as a way, a protectual way, to usher in, I don't know, nationwide mail-in voting. Now remember, the left loved the lockdowns, they loved the 2020 riots, and they even loved the weapon that January 6th gave them. And of course, they, they really, really loved the idea of universal mail-in or even uh, internet voting. Joining me now is Newt Gingrich, former Speaker of the House, and Fox News contributor, Newt, um, there have been a, a number of concerns raised by how this lawfare, as we just discussed in the last segment with two former Supreme Court clerks, I made three of us, about how this is being used to short circuit the electorate. And yet, the, and yet we, have, we have Republicans even out there saying, oh, well, if this happens, then we'll move on as a country. Do you think that all will be well? If for some reason the Supreme Court does not correct what was done in Colorado? No, I think this is a potentially catastrophe. A million three hundred and sixty thousand Coloradans voted for Donald Trump in the last election. Four lawyers want to block him from being on the ballot. That means uh, basically for every three hundred and forty thousand uh, Coloradans who voted for Trump, one lawyer is stopping them. Uh, that's a system of establishment arrogance that's not sustainable. Uh, and the last great effort like this was the 10 states that refused to put Abraham Lincoln on the ballot in 1860. Uh, the American people are not going to tolerate, and I hope the Supreme Court fully understands this, the American people are not going to tolerate being told that they're not allowed to have a choice for who they want to have as president. This is not Venezuela, it's not Nicaragua, it's not Cuba, and I think the Democrats are dangerously close to causing the kind of confrontation that would be truly disastrous for the country. Now, to that point, um, I want to play something that the Lieutenant Governor of Texas, Dan Patrick, <clears throat> floated on our show last night, Newt, got a lot of attention, watch. Seeing what happened in Colorado makes me think, except we believe in democracy in Texas, maybe we should take Joe Biden off the ballot in Texas for allowing 8 million people to cross the border since he's been president. Newt, I mean, uh, look at what's happened to America with this open border. I mean, it, it, that in and of itself is its, its own type of, of insurrection against sovereignty against the rule of law. So, I mean, is this not a natural reaction if this is the precedent they set? Yes. Look, 
Biden's illegal immigration policy, which leads to Biden's illegal immigrants, is a disaster and it's deliberate. It's not, there's not a failure on the border. There's a deliberate policy on the border to maximize the number of people who come in. The next stage will be for the left to demand that they be allowed to vote, even though they're here illegally. Uh, you can see the whole process. And that's why we are, I think, moving dangerously close to a really genuine confrontation over the very nature of America. You've seen it on the college campuses uh, with the anti-Semitic uprising in favor of terrorism uh, and a realization that the universities are wildly out of control and teaching things that are just plain crazy. Uh, there is a point where the average American is going to say, this is totally wrong. I think what President Biden said today is proof the people who want to destroy democracy are the Democrats. Ask Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who's been blocked at every stage. Ask the people from no labels who've been fought in every state. Uh, the Democrat idea is they get to win because no one else gets to compete. And I think that the average American, as they realize that, the level of anger at the Democratic Party is going to become dramatic. Do you think, Newt, civil unrest is a possibility here if this continues, if these types of attacks against real the democratic process continues? Well, I think what, what uh, you heard last night from the Texas contingent tells you, you know, this is still a country where states have enormous levels of freedom. Uh, and if we're going to get into a real knockdown, drag out fight, uh, you, you, but, which would be crazy. Let me, let me emphasize. Where we are right now, what the Democrats are doing right now, is insane and is in danger of tearing apart the whole society. But you could imagine a circumstance in hardline Republican states where they have absolute control of the legislature and of the governorship. There are probably 10 or 15 or 20 states that could strip the Democrats off the ballot. That would be nuts. It would be totally yeah. wrong. Uh, but that's what that's what they are setting up is that what you now have is basically <clears throat> a fascist Democratic Party who believe in government control, government domination, and by the way, in a number of states like Michigan and California, they've passed laws strengthening the governor's ability to have emergency power, which I think is very, very foreboding mm -hmm. given how much they abused it in 2020. Right. Well, Newt, uh, these, are, these are scary times, but let's hope cooler and more constitutional yes. heads prevail. Thank you.